over the last five years of making this YouTube channel. We've seen a lot of non-league grounds, we've seen a lot of goals, and of course we have witnessed so much good entertainment. But of course, that's in the past. We, as a channel, need to look to the future. Of course, yes, we will be celebrating five years of YouTube, but today, in today's video, I am going to share with you my top 10 non-league grounds I want to visit or revisit this season. Um, hang on. Oh, I've got an angle, hang on. Hang on. Let's cut to me when I've done this right. There we go. Yes, I am back in the comfy chair once again. And of course, yes, it is another sit down video, of course. And of course, we will be bringing you some more vlogs very, very soon. Yes. So, as the title say, or you, if, you've put, if you've not seen the title, today we are doing the 10 non-league grounds that I want to visit or revisit next, well, I'd say next season. It's actually this season coming, yes, of course. There's so many grounds that we've covered in the last nearly five years, as we've said, on YouTube, and it's been one of those where, i say it's been amazing, but today I thought I'm going to share with you some of the grounds that I've not actually, want, that I've not actually done, but I'm going to do it. That was a lot of words, so I'm going to shorten this and go, let's get started. Right, so let's just dive into number 10. Let's go with it. So number 10, of course, it is Brewery Fields, the home of Spennymoor Town. Right there. Yes, so I've done quite a few grounds in the north, northeast, and I've not really actually done Spennymoor. It's always been one of those where I'd like to do it. Um, I've heard some nice stuff about the grounds. Apparently, they brew some nice beer as well, so thumbs up thumbs up like that <laughs> friend but yeah no I, I'm, I'm excited it'll be a good one like i say i want to take off some more of that northeast area so yeah <laughs> so of course number nine is a ground this has been the i think it's the only revisit that well, well i'd like but i probably will do this season or ones i'd like to do and that of course it is the scholars ground chase town i had really I had a lot of fun when i went to chase town god what we're talking now, nearly a year ago, just over a year ago, when they almost, well, they almost got into the Southern Premier League Central. But of course, they're in the Northern Prem Northwest next season. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, that was it. Them and Chase Town, like them and Hens. Oh my God, I've really botched up there. Yes, I meant Hensford and Chase Town. Yeah, the two sort of Midlands clubs. Going into the northwest, I, I I don't understand. It's like Stafford Town in northwest counties. I don't get it. But yes, you now Chase Town for me. Really enjoyed it when I've been there. And of course, Will, if you watch this, collab, Chase Town, maybe, maybe. Okay, number eight is a ground that I, probably, I think I've tried to do in the last five years, but I've always failed. And that is, of course, it is Queen Street Stadium, Bilston Town. Now this is a probably a bit of a rogue one but i've heard some nice stuff about it i've seen people do vlog there and it, it it looks quite good actually it looks a pretty good stadium and of course apparently they do some really nice samosas so i want to get my hands on one of those samosas so yes built some town for me that is number eight now for the channel i mean we always seem to be you know just a northern based kind of channel really i mean it's always one of those it says you know, people go, it's Grim up north. Which is why at number seven, I thought we'll go with a ground that is in the south, but is actually not too far from a club that's in the National League North. Madness, and that is Clarence Parks and Albans. Now, again, I've seen people do some videos there and it, it looks quite nice actually. It looks a pretty good little ground, you know, National League South ground. Yeah, I want to do some more in the National League South. I mean, it's, some of the places are easy for me to get to, but yeah, number seven for me. Right, then, we're heading back up north, up north for our top six, and that's six. It is the Hebburn Sports and Social Viv. The Sports and oh my god, it's the Hebburn Sports and Social Ground number six. Again, I've heard some nice stuff, and Mr. Patson, Cam Patson, who is the OG of the. Well, co host I do. Sorry, Jake. Sorry, Jake. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Sorry. But I've been told it is a very, very nice ground. The setup looks good from what I've seen. So I'm excited. We might try and get to do it in pre season. Fingers crossed. If not, definitely a league game. But yes, it's Hebben Town for me, number six. Right in. 
top five and we're going to go back south to a club that's actually going to be in the national league next season and that is of course it is we're going to go to Cold Place Farm that is Oxford City I'm looking forward to this one because yeah I, I think you know what I mean I need to do Oxford United at some point but of course Oxford City you know it looks pretty good from what I've seen of the ground looks very very nice saw it on the on BT Sport last season looked, looked pretty decent so uh, one thing is I need to try the food there so maybe maybe next season I might bring in a food rating thing let's do it <laughs> right and number four we're getting towards the top four now so of course number four is the ground another one that I've been wanting to do for years and I've not been able to do it and that is Edgar Street Hereford again ex-football league ground got a lot of character a lot of charm saw it in the FA Cup when they played Portsmouth and I thought oh, I'd, I'd love to I'd love to be that ground but yeah at some point I will do it and yeah it's, it's yeah like I said I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be great I'll be looking forward to meet some of you lot as well that uh, will be there so yes at number four is Edgar Street so taking the wooden spoon today is of course Borough Park Workington Town now Talking to Jake about this, he absolutely adored this ground when he went there. He loved it. He said he was great. I need to do it because he's done it and I need to do it because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that is probably the worst reason I could have ever come up with. No, but all seriousness, all serious, yes. I wish I had done it with Jake properly and done a vlog on it, but I think I was going somewhere that day, so I can't even remember what I was doing. I've slept since then. But yes, no, I'm, it looks great, the ground looks great, he said it was amazing, so he enjoyed it, so I had to go, go check it out for myself. Okay, taking second place, it is the Flamingo Land Stadium, the home of Scarborough Athletic. Now, of course, Scarborough, of course, we mentioned in the previous video that they were one of the top, well, top 10 teams, I thought, will be one of those teams that you need to look out for. Next, well, this season coming, but I thought the ground certainly. I mean, I was used to drive past the McCain Stadium when I was a lad, and yeah, it brings back fond memories being back of my dad's VW Passat or his Toyota Aventis driving to Scarborough. But uh, enough, you know, nostalgia for me. Yes, and number two, it is the Flamingo Land Stadium. So, what is taking the cake? What is taking numero uno, numero un, or numero? Um. Uh, just number one. Number one. Yes, number one. That is, of course, it is Gig Lane Berry. Now, of course, we've been to. Well, I've been to Gig Lane, but that was prior to the channel. I'm going to put. Well, I'm going to put this out of the way, and I'm going to put a little picture right here. So this was from six years ago. Now, this, of course, when Donny played Berry, and that was when Berry were in League One. That, wow, that feels like a long time ago now, but that's because. It is! But yes, no, Berry's going to be great. You know, it's good that Berry are back at Gig Lane. I think it's a ground that, like I say, you know, people people remember it. And hopefully, you know, they'll bring some good crowds. And like I say, you know, we haven't seen Berry since the start of last year when me and Jake went. And uh, yeah, the weather was great. <laughs> But yes, that is the 10 grounds that I want to visit this season, definitely. I mean, there's only one revisit that I'm going to be doing. We'll be doing plenty of revisits as well, plenty of games that we'll be doing throughout the season. But let me know in the comments which grounds that you're looking forward to this season. And let me know in the comments down below, yeah. Or wherever you pick up your, well, pick up your comments, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But yes, no, that is the 10 grounds for me. There's some good ones in there. I might even see you some of the grounds you never know uh, next season but yeah if you enjoyed this drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't and like we say we'll be bringing some vlogs very very soon stay tuned